This is pretty much torture. I can't talk with the Speech Jammer app, so I'm going to read some famous movie monologues for you to laugh at me while I can't speak. He's a soccer-style kicker, graduated from Collier High, June 1976, Setson University, undergraduate class in 1980, holds two NCAA women record cards, one for most points of the season, one for C- one for distance. My former nickname, the Mule, the first and only pro athlete to come out of Collier High, one hell hell of a mile of America. What you looking at? You all a bunch of f***ing assholes. You know why? You don't have the guts of the poor people which you want to be. You need people like me. You need people like me so you can put your fucking things to say that it's that's a bad guy guy. So what? Th- that make you good? You're not good? You just know how to hide how, how, how to lie. Me, I don't have that problem. Me, I always tell the truth. Even when I lie. So say goodnight to a bad guy guy. Come on. The last time you see a bad guy like this again, let me tell you, guys. come on. Make way for the bad bad guy. There's a bad guy guy coming to him through. Better get out of his way. Good morning. In less than an hour, aircraft from here will join others from them around the world, and you will be launched into the largest area battle in the history of mankind. Mankind. That word should have a new meaning for all of us today. We can't be consumed by our petty deference anywhere. We will be united in our common interest. Perhaps it's faith that today is a 4th of July, and you will once again be fighting for our freedom. Not from tyranny, oppression, or persecution, but from annihilation. We are fighting for our right to live To exist, and we should win the day. The 4th of July will no longer be known as an American holiday, but as the day the world declared in one voice. We will not go quietly into the night. We will not vanish without a fight. We are going to live on. We are going to survive. Today, we celebrate our independence. The details of my life are quite inconsequential. My father was a relentlessly self-improving Belgian owner from Belgium with low-grade narcolepsy and a penchant for buggery. My mother was a 15-year-old French prostitute named Chloe with webbed feet. My father would womanize, he, he would drink... He would make outrageous claims like he invented the question mark. Sometimes he would accuse chestnuts of being lazy, the sort of general lazy that that only the genius possesses and the insane lane lament. My childhood was typical. Summers in Rangoon, luge lessons. In the spring, we'd make meat helmets. When I was insulin, I was placed in a burla bag gag and eaten with wreaths. Pretty standard, really. There was a time, a time before cable. When the local anchorman reigned supreme, when people believed everything they heard on TV, this was an age when only men and men were allowed to read the news. And in San Diego, one anchorman was b- more man than the rest. His name was Ron Burgundy. He was so like a guy God that while going among the main smear medals, he had a voice that so could make a Wolverine in purr and suit so full fine they made Sinatra look like a hobo. In other words, Ron Burgundy was the balls. Welcome to Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. The second rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. Third rule of Fight Club, if someone yells stop hop, goes limp or taps off, the fight is over. Fourth rule, only two guys do a fight. Fifth rule, one fight at a time, fellas. Sixth rule... The fights are bare knockout. No shirts, no shoes, no weapon. Seven, seven rule. Fight we will go on as long as they have to. And the eighth and final rule, if this is your first time at Fight Club, you have to fight.